Now, some of you may be saying to yourselves, I thought linear algebra was about solving linear systems. Where are linear systems? Well, first of all, linear algebra is not about solving linear systems. That's just one of its many applications. And second, we've been solving linear systems all along. Take a look at this linear system and compare it to this problem. Does it look familiar? It should. We just considered it in the previous video. It looks a little bit differently. It's arranged a little bit differently on the board, but it's still the problem of decomposing this vector as a linear combination of these four with four unknown coefficients. And if we just name them X, Y, Z, and T, you will see that this decomposition problem is exactly equivalent to this linear system. Because to find this linear system is to find x, y, z, and t such that number one, x plus y plus z plus 11t equals 73 in two more similar conditions. And to solve this decomposition problem, it means to find four numbers, x, y, z, and t, such that this linear combination evaluates to this vector, and in particular, 1 times x plus 1 times y plus 1 times z plus 11 times t equals 73. The exact same four numbers. So to solve a linear system is to solve a decomposition problem. And we already know all of the solutions to this problem. We determined them quite easily. No Gaussian elimination, no robust techniques, no boring manipulations of numbers. Just pure insight and understanding of linear dependence and decomposition. And the solution that we obtained in this problem is actually the solution to this problem. And it is x equals 13 plus 20 alpha, y equals 2 plus 15 alpha, z equals 58 minus 24 alpha, and t equals minus alpha. So there you go. Linear systems are a decomposition problem. And since we've been studying decomposition, we've actually been studying linear systems, among other things.